Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira automation tutorial, we are going to learn very important rule, which is to create the subtasks as soon as the user story is created. Okay, so we are going to check that the task or the issue type that is being created in Jira, the new issue type is actually story. And as soon as the story is created, then create the subtask within the stories automatically. Now, this is very important and will help you to streamline the overall process within your scrum projects. The reason being that most of the time when you are creating a story, there will be some sort of a design work that might happen. Then there is a development and then there is a test work that will happen okay so if you want to ensure that by default as soon as the story gets created these three issue types are also created within the story or the subtask type get created within the story so that they are by default there and the team actually picks those tasks instead of creating them manually okay now it is not necessary that all the teams will need this but then you can tweak the same rule according to the need of your project so let's quickly go back to the project and I'll take a clean project. So RCV Jira mobile app project. This is another project that I created. So we create the proper rule there and test it. Okay. So if I go to the project details here, so I'll go to project settings and then we'll go to the automation section. Okay. So here in the automation, click on that and then we'll go to the rule. Okay. So at the moment there are no rules. All right. So I'll click on create rule and let's start building our rule, which will check that the issue is created okay as soon as the issue created is of type story then we create three subtasks within the issue okay so the first one the trigger is what trigger is basically issue created okay so as soon as the issue is created so we'll click on the issue created trigger okay and then save it okay so you'll see that rule is run when an issue is created now we do not want to create subtasks for all the issue types, right? We only want to create subtasks for the stories. Okay. So if we have to put a condition there, then what we'll choose after the trigger, we'll choose a condition, which is new condition. And I will simply choose in the condition what exactly we are looking for, right? So we'll choose the issue fields condition, right? So we'll check that the type of the issue is actually story. Okay. So we'll, we can simply say issue fields condition okay and here from the drop down we'll see that the type right so or issue type so if i click on issue type and then condition is equals and what we are looking for the issue type should be equal to story so from the drop down we'll select the story type there and save it okay so you will see that first trigger as soon as the issue is created it will check the condition that issue type is equal to story and then we can add an action there okay so the third part is about the action so i'll click on the action here new action right so what is the action after checking that the issue type is story we want to create the subtask okay so i'll start typing in subtask in the components here and you'll see the create subtask action is there click on that and we will create the subtask okay so i'll say design subtask okay naming convention you can specify as per the project needs and i want to create another subtask so i'll click on another subtask okay and i'll say test subtask and i'll say development subtask okay so these are the subtasks that i want to automatically create in my project as soon as the user story gets created okay so the manual work around creation of these three tasks which is pretty standard in software development activities is not there okay if you want to update the fields of any of these tasks you need to click on the add fields and you will be able to update the fields there if you want to remove any of these subtasks right so for example you have added by mistake click on the remove and it will get removed okay so if i say for example click on this add fields okay you will see that the details of the create issue will open okay for the design task now here i can say for example i want to add the details here so design subtask and in the field here i want to choose something else say for example i want to also add the label as soon as the subtask gets created so i'll select the labels from the drop down okay and then add a label then choose that so labels yes and in the labels i will simply say design okay so design 
subtasks say for example okay hypothetically that this is the label that i want to add click on save so you can update any of the details there okay so you will see that there is an action that got created so it will okay let's see <clears throat> so these are the two subtasks all right okay so because we have edited the details in the fields right so it has basically created another section here okay so it will create two subtasks and then another subtask in this uh, project okay and let's see the details here so i think it has chosen uh, the issue type is subtask and it is uh, the parent issue is the current issue which should be fine right and the fields because we have edited the details there so it has created them as a separate activity here if i want to go back and edit some of the details in the fields here as well okay so for example test subtask as well i'll click on add fields and i will say add the fields there okay and save it so you will see that all of them are being treated separately here okay so let me edit that or, or just leave it as is and then click on publish rule okay so if you are fine that yes this is the rule that i want to create when the issue is created if it is of a type story then create three subtasks the first one is the development subtask second one is the uh, the test one and the third one is the design right and the test one will contain the description of the task as well and the design one will be having the description and the label as well added okay so these three subtasks will get created as soon as i'll publish this rule as as you can see here this is currently in the new state it is not published so you have to publish this only then this rule will be applicable so if i click on publish and then you will see that who can edit this rule all the admins at the moment if you do not want to give the edit permission to anyone else you can select the drop down and then click on private here so only you can edit or whosoever is creating this rule can edit i'll leave it to all admin and i'll name this rule as create subtasks for story okay or i'll say create three subtasks for new story okay and i'll click on turn it on and you will see that it is pending it goes to the pending state and then gets enabled okay so now this rule has been enabled okay if i go to the list return to list you will see create three subtasks for new story in the project rcv jira mobile app has been created and it's enabled now if i go ahead and create a story there okay so let's go to the rcv mobile app project right so i clicked on this plus sign here and the issue type story let's say i'll create a sample story for jira automation okay just that particular summary there and leave everything as default and click on create so you'll see that this particular issue has been created if i click on view issue three subtasks should have been created for this particular story as well so you'll see that automatically now for this particular story sample story for jira automation you will see three subtasks development subtask test subtask and design subtask has been created automatically right if we go to the design subtask it should have the label as well okay and the description as well right so you'll see the description is there okay and the label design subtask has already also been added okay so this is basically how you are going to create a rule in jira to automatically add the number of subtasks that are required for a particular issue type right so in the current rule we have specified that this is the user story the condition is there if you do not provide any condition so all the issue types that will be created say for example defect epic for all of them the subtask will get created okay so this is what is required to build a rule to create the subtasks within jira user story now let's go to the rule again okay uh, or let's create another issue type okay so i just want to show you that this rule only gets executed only if the issue type is a story if i create a bug okay and test bug for jira automation okay and click on create then for this particular issue type no subtasks should get created right because the rule is very specific for the story so only story should have the subtasks created okay so in this case you will see that test bug for jira automation no subtasks are being created for this particular issue type okay if i 
go back to the project and let's disable the rule and create a story. So in that case, the story should not have the subtask created when the rule is disabled. Okay, so I'll go to the project settings, to the automation and to disable the rule, simply toggle this button here. Okay, and now you will see the rule has been disabled. Okay, so now if I go ahead and create a new story. Okay, so issue type as story and then say test story for Jira automation one and click on create. Now this time, if I go to this issue RJMA-6, no subtask should have been created because the rule has been disabled. Okay. So in this case, you'll see that no subtasks are available in this particular case because we have disabled the rule. Okay. So this is briefly how you are going to create a rule to create the subtask for a particular issue type. In this case, we are creating the story and how you can go ahead and disable the rule as well if you do not want to use the rule in the project. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.